So we come to the 230th, 230th random box of career history and it's Yoko Gashiken. Oh, Gashiken Yoko and Yoko Gashiken was born on the 26th of June 1954, a year after the only ever Switzerland hosted World Soccer Cup, which Germany won, beating Hol um, Hungary 3 2 in the final. Uh, second time they got in the final ever. Uh, the first time was in 1938 when Italy beat them 4 2 in the final in France. And it was the first Soccer World Cup a non-home side one because the only first two before 1934 1930 the home sides won 1930 Uruguay won 4-2 in the final against Argentina 1934 Italy won in Italy beating Czechoslovakia 2-1 so this was the second one on the trot for Italy in France and that was the year before Yoko Kashikin was born so Yoko Kashikin was born 26th of June 1955 he's aged 67 at present and Yoko Kashikin like I said born 26th of June 1955 at Ishigaki in Okinawan in the Okinawan Islands in USCA, or United States Civil Administration area uh, of the Ryakyu Islands. And that 26th of June is synonymous with a lot of boxing dates. Uh, 1919, Freddie Mills was born on the 26th of June. That was the same year that Jack Dempsey won the title from Jess Wellard on July the 4th of that year in Toledo, Ohio. In three rounds against Jess Wellard, put him down seven times in the first rounds with Jack Doc Kearns in his corner. And 26th of June 1972, same year as the Munich in the country of Germany Summer Olympics and the Sapporo in the country of Japan Winter Olympics. That Dan Gable and Calling Bayern Munich, the Mongolian wrestler, were in getting silver, he did. Uh, Dan Gable got gold. Um, but the same year, 26th of June, Roberto Duran beat the great Ken Buchanan. And that's a day later, on the 27th of June, 1972, Muhammad Ali fought Jerry Quarry for the second time in a rematch. Because the first time Jerry Quarry fought Muhammad Ali was in his comeback in 1970, the same year that Brazil won the World Soccer Cup in Mexico. Uh, beating Italy 4-1 in the final, England on the way to the final also, and that was the s first of two Mexico Soccer World Cups, because the second Mexico Soccer World Cup was, e yeah, was in 1986, when Argentina beat Germany 3-2 in the final. And... 26th of June 1999, Scott Welsh beat, uh, lost to Julius Francis, it was one apiece, and 26th of June, you have Michael Gomez was born, I think it was 1973-ish, 74, uh, but it's 26th of June, and yeah, you had 1961, the Bay of Pigs year, I think that was 17th of April, like four days, uh, yeah, up to 20, 21st, something like that. And yeah, you, yeah, obviously later on you had the 1962 missile crisis, that was the 
been yeah that was the 16th to the I guess about two weeks actually 16th to like the 29th of October I mean 62 uh, 29th of October was when Muhammad Ali made his debut against Tony Hunsaker but back to Jerry Corey v Ali uh, it was the 26th of October 1970 I digress so back to Yoko show yes yeah, so Yoko Gashinkin was it was a southpaw 24 matches 23 wins 15 inside the distance one loss um, yeah he ended up he didn't end up with a lot of money he ended up working as a waiter even after that long that good old career uh, doing a lot he worked as a waiter because he wasn't he was in debt I think um, so he didn't earn loads of money from his boxing career worked you know like everyone else after um, and Yoko Kashinkin won his first eight matches and then he won in his ninth match he won the WBA light flyweight title then he retained it against Jamie Rios and Jamie Rios and Rigoberto Marcano uh, yeah, and Moonsayam Hao Mahachai so Moonsayam Hao Mahachai is a Thai uh, boxer and uh, Rigoberto Marcano was Colombian and then he retained it against Aniceto Vargas and Jaime Rios again and he had non-title match he retained his title again and Sang Tu Jung from Korea and Rigoberto Meccano again from Colombia he retained it again Alfonso Lopez and Rafael Pedroza and Tito Abella and then Yong Hyung Kim from Korea then Martin Vargas and Mexican Pedro Flores then he lost to Pedro Flores again and that was the end of his career so Yoko Kashinkin Won the title in 1976, same year as with the second Innsbruck Winter Olympics and the only Montreal in the country of Canada Summer Olympics. And the, you know, like I say, the second Innsbruck in the country of Austria Olymp Olympics because the first was in 1964 when you had the Tokyo. Summer Olympics that Joe Fraser won gold in and yes yeah, so a good old few defences there more than it's like 14 I think Fourteen, I think it was fourteen or fifteen world title matches out of that twenty-four matches, and Yoko Kashinkin was known for having strong stamina, allowing to pressure opponents into mistakes after many rounds. His southpaw stance allowed taking many advantage of many mistakes, throwing unexpected combinations. A bit like Kawasaki by the sounds of it, and its popularity in the mainland Japan. He was called the Fierce Eagle, and yeah, so Yoko Kashinkin 
competed from 1974 to 1981. So 1974, when he turned pro, was when West Germany won the World Soccer Cup in West Germany, beating Holland 2-1 in the final. They would lose also to the home side in 1978 to Argentina, the home side again, losing 3-1 this time. That was the same year that Muhammad Ali fought Leon Spinks. Uh, twice losing again, he only had more than sort of like half a dozen matches when he beat Ali on the 15th of February, but he lost on the 15th of September 1978 that year. Also, uh, yeah, he, his birthday was on the 11th of July, same as Len Harvey's, uh, very near the range in Bull, Jake Lamontis on the 10th and. Michael Hunter Jr. to the 10th of July, Kid Norfolk. Um, but yeah, Muhammad Ali coming the first three time heavyweight champion then. And that was 1978 when a guy called Harry Terrell, not Ernie Terrell, uh, the Ernie Terrell that fought, not that one, that fought Muhammad Ali in 1977. 29th of September that year, uh, the same date, it's 29th of September 1790 that Daniel Mendoza fought Richard Humphreys, I think for the third time, um, and that was the first ever official uh, sort of entrance music used, it was Star Wars from Muhammad Ali against Ernie, F Ernie Shavers, uh, that was 77. But again, I'm sure there should would have been more in the bare knuckle days with bands, etc. But 1978, back to that, was when Muhammad Ali, yeah, um, sorry, Harry Terrell fought Harry Terrell, not Ernie Terrell, uh, fought Ernie Shavers um, because. Ernie Terrell fought Muhammad Ali in 1967. His penultimate match before he lost his best years, getting banned until 1970. Uh, but he fought him on the 6th of February, 1967. And his last match, 1967, was against Zora Foley on the 22nd of March. Digressed quite a lot there, but links there. Uh, 1974 to 1981, he fought... 1981, that was Muhammad Ali's last match against Trevor Burbick on the 11th of December. Dra the, bra the drama in Bahamas, when he lost 10 rounds, over 10 rounds, to Trevor Burbick. So, 1974 to 1981, Gashiken, Joko Gashiken fought, making a total of 13 successful defences. And that's the end of that one. Bang.